Hello, my name is Zahi Zint and I'm an agronomist in the Van Ipperen International team. And today I'm taking the time to talk to you about Wake Up Liquid, one of our latest by stimulants. Wake Up is also known in the US market as Awake for trade name copyright reasons. Wake Up is a product that will target water use efficiency. And water use efficiency is obviously important because it has a direct link to the fruit quality and yield of the crop. Uh, when we talk about water use efficiency, of course, we immediately have in mind that water is a crucial resource because for obvious reasons, water is life. But this is not our topic because in agronomy, water is a crucial resource for a much more complex reason. It's availability or let's say efficiency. You know, when you have a crop, even in irrigated conditions, you have the problem of hydric stress that is related to the fluctu fluctuation of, um, of uh, evapotranspiration. You see, for example, when you switch conditions and the, the evapotranspiration in the plant gets blocked, as you can see in the picture, there you have a problem because the engine of the plant has stopped and to put it back in action, it requires a huge amount of, of energy and and, and it does uh, some damage that will take its toll on the, um, on the quality of the crop and the yield. So even if we have water and even if we are talking about irrigated conditions, we still need to, to look at our water use efficiency. So beyond availability. Once this concept is clear, we can continue and look at this picture. When we talk about hydric stress and potassium, we see that they somehow have similar damage on the leaves. You can see it, this is an example on tomato. You can clearly see that they have more or less the same damage. And this is well known because potassium is tightly linked to the water, um, let's say to the water regulation inside uh, the, the plant. Um, so, any disastrous effect, let's say, let's put it that way, a, a potassium deficiency and a water or hydric stress will more or less have a relatively same, let's say, same um, consequences on the quality of the crop because they are tightly linked. Um, so, if we would like to sum it up, the idea of wake up is to target water use efficiency because fluctuation of evapotranspiration rates are leading to yield uh, potential loss and quality loss. Because when the engine is stopping, when the stomata are fully closed due to the climatic stress and blocking the evapotranspiration, it takes a great deal of energy to restart the engine. So what if we could keep the engine of the plant running even at a low pace, instead of stopping it completely. That would really increase the water use efficiency, regardless if it's in irrigated conditions or in dry conditions. That's where our wake up liquid uh, gets interesting. Wake up liquid is a unique product formulated on the basis of carboxylate of potassium. So it's a organic carboxylates that are coupled with potassium salts. And the idea is that we are really looking on the carboxylate part to create what I'm going to explain a bit later um, as, as a response in the plant. But the idea is that we couple it with potassium because of the link between potassium and water use efficiency as well, and the effect of potassium on quality. So. Given that it's 30% weight over volume K2O sourced from potassium carboxylate, it has an increased potassium use efficiency because it's complexed. So it means that it's easily absorbed by plant tissues. And the most important thing is that you have no chloride, no nitrate and no sulfate. So it's very safe for leaf tissue. You do not have any detrimental effects of other anions. It has a neutral pH, which is relatively easy for the leaves to uptake. And with this, you will have an increased 
water use efficiency and the biostimulation effect that we are going to explore a bit later. How does it work? If you see the, the, the word wake up, I'd like to stress on this point, is a short for water and K efficiency up. So technically, we are going to increase the water and the potassium efficiency uh, by doing two things in the plant. The first thing is uh, what I'd like to call a biostimulation from the potassium. You would tell me, what are you talking about? Potassium is nutrition. But in the case of wake up, the potassium is working as a biostimulant. How? Since we said the key ingredient of wake up is potassium carboxylate or carboxylates of potassium, you have a fast and easily absorb absorbable potassium by the plant cells that will go precisely on the guard cells of the stoma, as you can see in the picture. This will ensure higher water use efficiency by regulating the opening and the closing of the stoma, regardless of the climatic conditions. It means that normally a plant without biostimulation within harsh climatic conditions of drought and, and heat will have its stoma completely closed because the potassium will be drawn out of the cells and then the, the, the guard cells will close by the osmotic pressure, they will close, they will stop the evapotranspiration. And this leads us back to what I said initially, stopping the engine. With wake up, when you when you have this fast available potassium, even though the, pla the, the plant cells, the, the, the guard cells have the tendency to close, the extra potassium that we provide in a fast way will enable to keep some osmotic pressure and to keep the cells turgid by keeping the water inside of them, keeping thus even slightly a little bit of activity on the stoma, and en enabling the evapotranspiration to continue even at the minimum rate, avoiding a complete shutdown. And this is a key thing. When you avoid a complete shutdown, it means that you can help the plant to continue working and then accumulating yield and quality, even though you are in a challenging condition. The second part is the carboxylates. You remember it's a potassium carboxylate. So these complexing agents are also biostimulants. Um, what happens during drought stress or any stress, but mainly drought in this case, you will have oxidation of plant cells components that will be damaged. By, uh, by oxidants. The carboxylic acids in wake up are specific antioxidants. We have carefully selected the types of carboxylic acids that we use because they are carefully selected to be natural antioxidants to these specific threats that arise from drought stress. So what I'm saying here is that wake up, thanks to the carboxylate inside the product, will increase the drought tolerance of the crop by stopping the oxidation of the cells due to um, drought stress. But there's more. Uh, what we saw that these specific antioxidants that we are using, that the carboxylic acids that we are using, we did, um, we did a, a small study to see what is the effect of these carboxylates on the production of the anthocyanin, which are in turn very powerful antioxidants and is it luck or is it something that we thought of? Uh, happen to be valuable pigments that will affect directly the quality of the crop. So if you look at the graph, we clearly see that after each application of wake up, specifically starting two to three applications of wake up in comparison to the control, we have significant increase of the production of anthocyanin pigments. And this is a very big plus because you will have increased color, you will have increased quality, and at the same time, you will have a preservation of, of yield loss because of the antioxidation effect. So, wake up will technically help you to keep your, your, your crop potential, your crop quality through enhancing the water use efficiency and the resistance to drought stress. 
How do we use it? There are two main stages, to be very simple and, and direct. You can use it either if you expect a drought stress upcoming by watching the, the news you see that on the on the meteorological uh, uh, news they say that there is a heat wave coming up then the ideal thing is to you know before that as with all biostimulants we always prefer to anticipate the idea would be that you would use wake up in a prevention one to two applications before the stages of drought and heat stress with a 0.5 to 1% concentration that would be equivalent according to the crops between two, three to six liters per, per hectare per application, roughly. And then you come back another time also, let's say 15 days before that, and then five, five to four days before that. And then you can, there's another way to use it, which I like most, is, a, is like in a program, because I don't know also if it's luck, but <laughs> when you have drought stress, you often have the fruit growth, which coincides at the same time, which is which are the months in the northern hemisphere, the months of July, June, July, let's say, that's it. End of May, June, July, most crops are in fruit. On fruit growth, this is where you have the accumulation of quality that is happening, and at the same time, the drought episodes and the drought stress. So if we want to put it that way, I would put a very simple equation for you. It's a four times four, four applications of four liters per hectare, regardless of the crop, more or less. That would roughly give you 16 liters per hectare in total, respecting 0.5 to 1% concentration. And then we would target, for example, as of fruit set, um, initial growth of the fruits. We come back every 15 days, and that way we have covered this critical period. This is in practice. Of course, you have access to the leaflet where it, it's more detailed and you can always contact our agronomists and salespeople in the field to give you more accurate uh, information about your specific conditions. So, to sum it up, we are presenting you at Van Iperen with a very nice product that is targeting water use efficiency, but to increase the quality and the yield. With a 30% K2O source from potassium carboxylate, that will help to have a faster potassium available to regulate the evapotranspiration rates of the stoma, no chlorides, nitrates or sulfates, with an effect directly linked to biostimulation thanks to the carboxylate part, a product that is perfectly, leaf for, uh, perfectly safe for the leaf application, with a direct effect on water use efficiency and the biostimulation. So if you'd like to learn more, please feel free to contact us and we can take the time to take a closer approach to what you are experiencing and we will find a solution together. Thank you for your time, it was a pleasure.